Okay, so I'm Megan Pratt, and this is my timekeeping device for a school project. I'm going to show you how it works and how you operate it. So first you place this cup, which has a hole in it, over this, and fit it so that the hole overlooks the spoons, which you might, you might need to adjust it. So it's probably best if you're doing this type of thing to do a trial run before you present it. Then you pour the sand in, pour it in very quickly. And as you can see, the sand is pouring into these cups. And it's rotating this wheel. And there is a pencil that is rotating and making this wheel turn. And every time this wheel turns, step and this black arm, which basically represents the arm that will tell you where what time it is. <clears throat> it points to the line in the center, which is sort of invisible, points to one of these lines on the wheel, and that tells you how many um, units of time it's been. The unit of time I chose is called a shroom, and every time it rotates around, it's one mush, so mushroom. Um, <clears throat> and then the sand will collect in a bottom box, like we chose this cutie's orange box, or I chose this cutie's orange box because it was very useful for what we're doing. We've got, we've got these stuck in which support the wheel, and we've also got a hole in the bottom, so it's very conventional for empty. I will show you when the project is done with its rotation, which looks like now. So, <clears throat> then you remove the cup. Pour the sand back in the initial container. Uh, then pick up the device. And through a hole, you can shake all of the sand into your initial container, like so. So, there are many holes in the box, so it's probably useful to tape up most except for one and then you can just place everything in this box and it's easily portable so now if you're watching this video live at some kind of weird science convention you may applaud now and that's all for the majestic magical mushroom clock